we are in the Rutgers end zone following Rutgers 21-20 win over Navy to move to 5-1 on the season. Not the most shimmering of performances on both sides of the ball, but a win is a win nevertheless. Uh, Rutgers head coach Greg Schiano talked about the win and what a tough game it was. Let's hear what he had to say. It was a buzzsaw we ran into today. Your back was against the ball. And, uh, we had a chance to win that game. Mission. So I knew what we were going to get today. There was no doubt in my mind what we were walking into. And I'm really proud of our guys because at no point did they panic, they played for one another, they found a way to have one more point on the scoreboard at the end of the day at our opponents. So, uh, as I told them, it probably won't be a highlight reel game. But it, it's a W. And it's a W against a team that uh, very dangerous. Fourth-year junior cornerback Brandon Jones came up with a couple big plays. First was an interception in the first quarter, and then in the second half, a, a unique kind of play where he uh, broke up a pass, you know, rolling around on the ground. It was on his back. Pat Kivelham came, fell on the ball, which was just a crazy play, and then blocked a field goal at the end of the game. Uh, Brandon Jones talked about all that stuff afterwards and how he figured into the win. Let's hear his thoughts. Well, yeah, the, the block field goal, the time before that, I felt like I was pretty close. Logan Ryan told me I was close. And I, I, I felt like if, if we got another opportunity to block one, I would I would get it. And sure enough, my teammates, you know, they, they gave, gave great pressure inside, short the edge for me. And I just gave it everything I had to, you know, go block it. How about the pick itself? Oh, uh, the pick, um, you know, Coach coach gave us a good idea what routes they were going to run. You know, the passing game is limited. So, um it gave us a good idea what routes they were going to run, and I saw it, and I trusted my training, and just broke on it as hard as I could, and the ball was there when I got there. And was... It seems like you're part of a defense where every week one or two guys are stepping up and making big plays. You, what's the, the mentality that, you know, what's kind of going through guys' minds? Is it when you're in the huddle, do you kind of have that faith that someone's going to step up? I mean, I, I just think when when you, the opportunity comes, you got to make the play. And, and we, in practice every day, we, we we work on taking the ball away and making making plays, and it, it shows in the game. And you know, whoever whoever gets the opportunity to make a play, we, we're confident that they're going to step up and make it. Rutgers true freshman quarterback Gary Nova now two and zero as a starter. He had some rough spots along the day, two interceptions. I asked Gary afterwards if he was ever worried about being replaced by former starter Chase Dodd. Here's what he had to say. I mean, I've always said it, you know, whatever decision coach make, I'm gonna be supportive of. It. You know, obviously you would like to stay in the game, but you know, me and Chase are real, real close. And if, you know, he goes in the game, I'm gonna help him just like he helps me when I'm in there. Juwan Jamison with the 100-yard rushing performance on the day, the first of the year for Rutgers, the first of his career. Uh, he talked a little bit about what he's been doing differently and uh, what that 100-yard game meant. Uh, let's hear his story. My first 100-yard game, how's it feel? It felt really good. Finally, finally getting it. You know, it was close in uh, the Ohio game, and then last game, we didn't really do too good, but it, was, it felt really good to finally get it. Oh, it's, hey, it, it takes the pressure off our quarterback and our receivers, you know, and our line for having to sit there and just pass block. Our running game is, is getting going. Like I said, you know, we've been working and working and working, and we've get, been getting it going, and it's, it's going now. Senior defensive end Manny Abreu, in his first year at the position, had a really nice game, arguably the best of his career. Nine tackles, two sacks on the day. He was all over the field, in the backfield. Manny talked about that. This was your first experience playing against the triple option uh, as a defensive end. Was there anything different about it? You know, how'd that work for you? Oh, it, <clears throat> I've been here for, for a few years now, so I, I, I see I playing on linebacker, you, you have to know what the D-line uh, is doing. Uh, it, it was it was simple. It was uh, I I just picked up on it. You know, I, I guess he asked before. How's it feel to kind of uh, to get those hits on the quarterback? Your eyes kind of light up when you're in pursuit like that. Oh, they they did. When when I had two or three feet in front of me, uh, I I just knew I was gonna hit him. And uh, just the feeling that I know it was crushing me. Well, it felt really good inside. Next up for Rutgers, a trip to Louisville. Five and one now, could move to six and one in an all important home game against West Virginia. Greg Schiano was asked about that after the game and uh, here was his response of this team, you know, mirroring the 2016 and the team is off to its best start since then. So let's hear what he had to say. I don't know, you know, I, I'm, I'm leery of comparing those. This, this team is different. This team is a special group of guys. We're not, it's a different group. Not the 06 was in its own way. This is a different group. We're five and one, right? 
that's one game more than we were at this time. We're four two at this time last year. So I'm like, I'm like, uh, we got a, we got a Big East championship game now again. Every game in the Big East a championship game, and we got one coming up this week at Louisville. So a short week, and we got to get on a plane to travel. So thank you very much. Right, we just got to fight through it, and we will uh, we'll game plan tomorrow, we'll practice on Monday, and get on a plane Thursday, and we'll play Friday night. There you have it from the Rutgers end zone. Bobby Darren here for Scarlet Nation. Rutgers wins 21-20 over Navy. We'll see you next time in the end zone.